Hello everybody, and welcome to the channel of Conductor123, or welcome back. And so, um, this video is about a calculator. It's for creative mode, um, so you can, uh, test with your friends, um, or show off to your friends. So, uh, before we start though, I want to address, um, why I've been gone. Uh, so this is a little bit more than a month late now, and so I just wanted to say, um, I took a break, uh, I got new headphones or, um, earbuds, uh, cause I record with earbuds, um, and so I maybe took too long of a break, um, but it was really nice and I'm back and working on videos, and I surpassed 50 subscribers, so thank you for that. And so, now let's get into the video. So, you can see here, I have this calculator, it has a reset button, oh, press one button, press two button, press three button, and five lamps, and what the heck. So, you can press this one button, and it'll go to one. You can press one plus one equals two. One plus one plus one equals three. You can do uh, three plus two equals five. And another thing is that you can expand this calculator, I believe, all the way to do plus five. And then you can expand this, however, you can expand this up to 30, I believe. So, uh, so it resets, um, and so what happens is, if you press 2, and you're doing a math problem, but you realize you pressed in the wrong button, you can also press the reset button, and it'll reset the machine to 0. And so, how this works here, is you can see, there are these hoppers, and, oh my gosh, this lag. I don't even know what's wrong. So you can see here, they are monostable circuits, and so um, a monostable circuit makes it so that uh, it's also known as a pulse shortener. So you can see okay, there's a flash of redstone. Um, even while the button's still being pressed, the redstone is off. And so that's what a monostable circuit does, is it shortens a redstone pulse that's why it's called a pulse shortener and so it uses pulse shorteners and pulse ex um pulse extender a uh, pulse extender right here to calculate numbers um so you have this repeater here it's one and it doesn't use the pulse extender and instead it uh, deactivates the redstone torch, which unlocks all of these hoppers. Um, uh, hoppers won't collect items, or uh, and they won't distribute items if they're locked. And then, so for two, what happens is, oh my gosh, you need four uh, ticks, uh, redstone ticks, to uh, unlock a hopper. So um, you can see here there's a four, and then there's another four for two hoppers, and then there's the four right here, and then there's just a four here for to unlock one. Uh, oh my gosh, two hoppers. Then right here, there's two fours to unlock. Um, three hoppers, 
uh, three hoppers. Um, it may look confusing, but once you do redstone long enough, um, it makes sense, especially if you think about it for a while. And so, the reset button, um, how the reset button works is it's a pulse shortener. And so, if you didn't know, if you shorten a redstone pulse to one tick um, in Java edition, not in Bedrock edition, the sticky piston will spit out or um, let go of its redstone block. So, like this. And it will also take it back. So, you can see, I just shot it out. So, uh, then what happens is comparators can detect when there's an item inside of a chest or a hopper or a shulker box. And so, what happens is the comparator um, sends a redstone signal to this sticky piston. It powers this line. Um, and then this sticky piston gets a one tick pulse and pulls the redstone block back. And so now I'm going to go show you how to build this. Um, maybe in a different world. I don't know what's wrong with this world. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. For the calculator, you'll need 150 building blocks. I didn't mean to do that. Nine lamps, nine signs, four buttons, seven sticky pistons, ten repeaters, six comparators, one redstone block, twelve hoppers, forty redstone dust, and one redstone torch. I honestly don't know what's going on because this was not happening last time I was recording. So, 150 building blocks, 9 lamps, 9 signs, 4 buttons, 7 sticky pistons, 10 repeaters, 6 comparators, 1 redstone block, 12 hoppers, 40 redstone dust, and 1 redstone torch. So, to begin with um, the calculator, you're going to want to design the floor. Uh, and that's where a majority of the 150 blocks, or 150 building blocks comes from. Then, once you build a 3x3 platform, build a 3x3 area, but leave a hole in the middle like this. Place a redstone lamp on the inside, put a button on it, and above, type in, uh, put a sign with the word reset on it. The signs are optional, but it helps to have them. Then keep building uh, with the pattern with the hole in the middle, put the button on it, and then this time you'll place you'll have it be one. Then two. And then three and then you'll want a three block wide gap between three and the next uh, the next lamp and then when you come over here you can uh, uh, just press five lamps and then surround the lamps in blocks This, then do uh, right one, two, three, four, five, five. And so this is the entire front side. And now we're going to start getting into this back part. And then for this back part, you want to place five blocks on the back here. And then you want to come out diagonally uh, down to the left from the right side. 
uh, and then put comparators on these blocks. Then come over to here and you're going to want to place hoppers all along this way. So, like, what's over here? So, five hoppers, then you take this block around, then put a hopper there, uh, then put a hopper on this back one, and then come back all the way like this, and then you can make a clock and you can see it's sliding up and so now in order to lock it you'll need a redstone torch but I forgot to get one so come here and place redstone all along right here then place a block here and then blocks like this and so uh, this is just the reason that it's so confusing like this is so that this feeds directly into the, um, the torch the next thing you want to do is come here and place blocks like this then put redstone dust on the very right one and then repeaters on the rest then you want a sticky piston facing up on all of them and put blocks on top of it then put blocks next to the sticky piston like this and so sorry I just have to look at this for a second put one here and leave it put one here and right click it on it once or twice or just once and it will um and it will be on two ticks then put all of these on four ticks then put blocks in front of these three so um next we're going to build this section which is the redstone um uh, pulse extender so I'm going to put a block in between have a repeater right there and then we can just fill in this section like this and so now you can press it and it'll go to one then we go to the next and then the next this, this music is ridiculously loud okay so um this calculator actually works the only thing you need to build is this reset right here and so for the reset you just need to get out a redstone block and an observer um then come underneath this hopper in the corner and then bring the blocks out like I just did. Put a comparator right there. And then make this arrow kind of shape, the zigzag. Um, put a redstone block right there. Have a sticky piston with an observer and so we're building the reset part right now and then come over to this right side have redstone like this have a sticky piston and then a redstone block then Take this a block out. It's redstone here. And then you can do this zigzag thing. Put a repeater on two ticks. And then another block. Um, this is just so you save on redstone. And 
come underneath here because uh, four blocks destroy the first three by sticking an upward with uh, an observer on top. And this just makes it a lot easier. And now, if we come over and press two, and if we press two again, and now if we press two, and it goes to the middle, uh, the reset button should work. Except I didn't connect it. So, um, make this tiny connection right here with just redstone dust. And now it resets. Or... Wait. Three ticks. And now it resets. So that was my bad. Um, and now you can show to all of your friends that you are a genius. And just never tell them about my channel, but I would appreciate it if you would. And they'll never know that you stole my build and took it for yourself. But this calculator was fun to make. I believe it works on Bedrock Edition, but I'm not entirely sure. You may need to change this repeater to four ticks. Um, if someone could test this out on Bedrock Edition, I would appreciate it. Uh, I have made one of these on Bedrock Edition, but it was a little bit different design. Um, I just made this recently. Uh, another thing is that the hopper calculators are not the only type of calculators. Um, so if you really get into it, there are a few calculator tutorials on YouTube. Um, I can't think of anyone right now, but there are a few that I've watched. Uh, so if this is not the type of thing you're looking for, there are other ones. But this one is easier to understand. So thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe um and i will see you next time lag